means a whole lot. You know, I've been growing up a UT fan since I could remember, five, six years old. I mean, this is what I bleed, you know, because I'm from here. That's 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 what I'm about. And seeing these new guys come in and meeting these guys, and they're good character guys, all these recruits that we're getting. And I'm loving every single one of them, and it makes me feel good about the program. You get to play with somebody also from your high school, Daniel Hood. Just talk about that, you know, coming from the same program in Cal. Well, it's fun because, um, you know, Daniel's on the opposite, opposite side of the ball, which makes it a lot more fun than usual. Uh, and he used to beat up on me in high school because he was a senior, I was a sophomore. Obviously, I'm smaller than this guy. Um, but now, now that I'm here, I can, you know, return the favor a little bit. And we're still really close together just because, I mean, we've known each other for such a long time. Yeah, I mean, people are attacking it with a whole different kind of attitude. You know, people people are stepping up that you didn't expect from last year. You know, I mean, everybody wants to be a leader. Everybody wants to bring us back to where we were. Uh, nobody nobody wants to be that guy that didn't help out. You know, so er so everybody's trying to be a leader. Everybody's trying to push everybody, and that's the way we get better, pushing each other. Obviously, like you said, you were a hard TC fan from the time you were five, six years old. This has to be real special to kind of see this thing be more of a turn around uh, after, you know, being hammered around for a couple of years. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very special. You know, I, I mean, in high school when we were having our down years, I, it, it hurt me. You know, I'd sit at home watching the games, it's just, just, just painful. You know, and I got a chance to come here and be able to give it my all for Tennessee, which is what I've always wanted growing up. Um, so it's a great experience, and I'm really glad that all these new guys are coming in. All these people are stepping up, like I said, and we're just getting the program back where it needs to be. You had guys who were talking about how you went, to, you went to the coach, you got one answer, and you go to the assistant coach, you get the same answer now as opposed to last year. That wasn't quite the case. I'm sure it's great to see these coaches all the same way. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've been working together for so long. so. So they're 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 a very tight knit group and they're always talking to each other, which helps us out because we don't want different opinions from different people. And uh, because they're so tight, it helps us work as a program. I mean, if Coach Jones wasn't tight with Coach Bajaki and or Coach Bajaki wasn't tight with Coach Mo, we wouldn't be able to have a good running offense, a good running team. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Good. How you doing, man? Good. Good, Wes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Everybody knows up front what y'all have in terms of the those those first team guys. That yeah. first group is so solid. Is that how are things behind that though? I mean, with you guys coming up, you know, the next generation. I mean, I know that unless somebody gets hurt, you know, next year is when it really takes hold. But but how are y'all progressing on a daily basis? I mean, those front five guys are so good. You know, I mean, it's nice to have them there, but it doesn't mean there's no pressure on us. I mean, me, Mac, Crowder, and Marcus Jackson are all trying to step up our game because we know that next year when those guys leave, we're going to have to be there. So it's very important for us to start now, you know, acting, acting like we're ones. We're not just twos, you know. We have the capability to be up there, and we will be up there. In terms of that, I know that, you know, you get asked all the time about, you know, you're one play away or coach, that, you know, they tell you you're one play away, but it seems like those guys don't get hurt up there. I mean, those guys have just been more horses for so long. Yeah. But, I mean, do you still have to fight to keep yourself in shape, keep yourself ready to go, keep yourself ready to, to, to go oh, in a second? Oh, always. I mean, you always got to fight for that. I mean, I remember last year uh, I was I was still a two spot, and Zach Fulton had tweaked his ankle just a little bit at the Alabama game. He stayed in, but he needed somebody to step in on field goal, and I was there, you know, and I played field goal for the rest of the year. So, I mean, you got to stay in shape. You got to keep working because – Field goal might just be just as hard as playing any other position. You got 300 pounder wants to block it coming right at you. So I mean, you got to be ready for anything. Are you spending more time at guard or tackle now? I know you're you're kind of listed as the two at right guard and right tackle, but you played everywhere. But, yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. but already you know for a young guy. But do you have a preference? Um, I definitely like right guard more. I'm I'm not as tall as tiny and Juwan, six six, long arm kind of guys. I'm only six four. I mean, I played tackle in high school because so it's kind of familiar to me. But I feel more comfortable right guard just with my size. And uh, I, I like backing up Zach Fulton. I like learning from him. He's a great teacher. He's a great guy to like 
get examples from. So I, I love that spot. Are you spending more time at guard now than, than tackle? Is that during the day, or, or are you kind of going back and forth, or how does that go? I'm spending more time at uh, guard right now, and they're really counting on uh, some of the incoming freshmen to step up and be able to play that tackle spot right behind Juwan. You know, Coach Moe's trying to put Austin Sanders and Brett Kendrick in there, try to give them at the right and left, right and left tackle. So I don't, I don't have to switch over, and I can work on my guard stuff and stay there. You still having to snap it at all, or? or? I, I have not actually. I mean, they have Dylan Wiseman, uh, third yeah. string center right now, so he's snapping a lot. But I mean, Coach Mo still wants all of us to work on our skills, and be able to whenever we, if we do get to the next level, we'll be able to go to any position that we can.